Hey, so welcome back to part two of our Pink Roots White Ends hair transformation. So part one, we bleached the roots. This is our new base. And uh, I think we lifted quite even using the Jerome Russell bleach and 20 volt peroxide, leaving it on for half an hour. This is our results. So now we're going to we're going to be doing pink on the roots, going down to this on the ends. Not going to get this result, but we'll get a little bit clearer than what we've got. Okay, okay. Let's be realistic with our expectations, hey? Right. So what I'm thinking of doing is I want to keep my front blonde. I want to keep a blonde pure blonde money piece blonde being this money piece um that has no pink root on so i'm going to keep that negative so what i'm going to do is i think i'm going to do like a small triangle at the very front small triangle at the very front so I'll make sure I've got that clean. Oh, getting a bit tangled there, but a bit clean there. Because uh, I don't. I've been pink before. I love, 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 love pink hair. But on me, I still like to have that bit more of a blonde look around the front. I think that on me will work. Do you know what? I think that's as good as we're going to get there. So let's just stop faffing about there. And we're going to put that out of the way there. Doesn't that look good? Doesn't that look good? <laughs> right, and then what I'm also going to do is just keep a little bit of blonde round here on this section. So I'll just take my glasses off and we'll do it blind. Because, like I said in part one, I've got to put my contacts in this morning. I mean, I could go and put them in now, but you know, let's just roll with the blindness. You know, let's just stay as we meant to go on. Okay, let's just, maybe we were supposed to not be able to see properly today. Okay, so I'm just keeping them little pieces out a little bit higher on that side let's see if we can get it i still haven't got all of my front hairs back from what's it called in england america's postpartum you know post nail that's because i watch too much american youtube um yeah so post nail hair loss um i lost all here so obviously you can see i'm still still quite sparse in these areas so you know i can't be taking going wide on there i'm just gonna go pink there so i'm quite happy with them sections i think let's just maybe take that little bit out of there and then i think we're quite we're quite even on both sides with what we've left out yeah happy with that maybe it's a little bit more or something like that they're not even because both sides are different hair loss. Okay, okay, okay. So we're going to keep these out from being pink. And then so all the rest, we're going to have the pink roots. So we're going to have, we're going to do it in four sections, just like we did when we bleached our roots in part one. Okay, so we've got a parting down the back. And then we're going to go one down the side getting stuck on my <laughs> earring okay okay so i have a triangle at the back then coming down and i'm just going to go in tiny little sections and do the back so what i'm actually going to do is work from the container this is the provoke Go pink range, you know the range that does all the um, purple shampoos. 
This is going to look ridiculous if I do the rest of the video like that, isn't it? But, do you know what? It's all in the name. The beauty. No pain, no gain. Pain is looking bad for two minutes. Right, so we're going to work from the container. No point in decanting and dirtying a bowl when we have one here. Perfectly good. So this is a conditioning. This is a temporary hair colour mask says that it'll last for eight washes we are putting this on to straight freshly bleached roots so this is gonna grab this is gonna last a hell of a lot longer this pigment is just gonna want to sink straight into that uh oh, i was about to say white pale yellow color okay so we have successfully kind of pink rooted the back going down two sides and then little slices each side tapping on the root trying to keep it in just an inch we've gone a little bit further down in some parts by mistake there you go and hence this is why we wear such an awful top just in case we spill color on it right so now we're moving on to the front and i've sectioned away that and i've put this other piece that I wanted to keep clear under my glasses. So they have come in handy for something. Right, okay, so I'm going to tilt my head so that you can see what I'm doing. And we're just going to go in little slices, just like we did in part one with the bleach in the roots. We're going to follow that same painting process and just try and just, just keep it on the roots. That's it. Right, okay, let's go. Right, so. I'm just going to first just paint down on the centre root section. I'm trying to keep it maybe just an inch, an inch of a root. Don't really want to bring it down much further than that because I do just want it to just look like a root. Okay, and then we're going to pull back over and see I'm only putting it just on the end of my brush. I look like that from the Adams family, don't I? Just like, is it hair? That character from the Adams family that's just hair and <laughs> you can't see his face. <laughs> oh dear, you'll see me there. Right, okay. There we go. So just paint, paint in the underneath, tipping back over and painting each side so we make sure we are fully saturated. Dipping back in each time. Make sure we've got enough product on our brush to do the job. Okay, okay. Tipping back over and painting each side. And we're going to do this all the way down. So I'm doing my hair because I'm going out with the girls tomorrow. And I don't want to look like a hot mess. So we are trying to transform. If you can't tell, we are a little bit, a bit Barbie inspired. Barbie's everywhere and pink is being thrown about like nobody's business. I'm not mad at it. Barbie is my favourite. I absolutely love Barbie. So, you know, this is slightly, there we go, see, I'm trying to be very, I've already ruined it, but hey ho, trying to be very careful to not get it on these front pieces okay um yeah so very barbie inspired all over instagram all over everything hard to get away from it so it's in your head when you're walking down the shop aisle you see pink hair dye and you're like oh my gosh let's do it so so yes there is a little nod to barbie here keeping even some of the some of the blonde but that little pink flourish my daughter is absolutely gonna go mad she loves pink she's gonna be like oh me too mommy me too I want pink hair oh bless her I might let her actually it's only semi-permanent she's only at nursery it's not that bad is it I think I've already gone wrong on my sectionings. I might have to take my glasses off, guys, otherwise I think I'm going to get this wrong. 
Let me do my pintail comb again. Let's have a look. I think that was the section. So maybe if I do this a bit, yeah, I'm going to just keep hold of it, I think. Because I need to keep it away from that, that bit. We need to keep all of this away. Okay. And then just tap. Okay. We can come down on this last little bit. Alright. And then we're going to go. We might have to break that up again. Better if you go in the thinnest sections. You can manage. Because then you can be a lot cleaner. And a lot more precise. Let me make sure I've got that bit down there. Yeah. Right, okay, and then this is my very last before that bit. So I just want to make sure that's a clean kind of stamp there. That is probably as clean as I'm going to get it there. I'm just going to leave that. I don't want to get it. Hmm. See, I've already got a little bit down there, but hopefully that'll come out once I put the white toner on. Right, are we clean around here? I don't think so. Do you know, I don't think that's that not bad of a job, you know. Are we clean along the part in line? Let's have a look. No, could do with a little bit more in there. I always want to make sure whatever anyone's going to see first is clean. Okay, right. I've kept my money pieces out. I'm going to do the same on the other side and I'll come back to you. Okay, so I went and got a clip. Not mine, my daughter's, but we're going to roll with it. So I've successfully, ish, pink pink dyed all the roots it's a little bit difficult because I heck I want to blow all over the place okay top tip use sectioning clips I didn't don't know why got them downstairs anywho uh, so we've left these negative left this uh, the money piece um, blonde the top says leave on for five minutes or longer for more intense color results so I'm probably going to leave this maybe for another 15 minutes. I think that should be enough on bleached hair. Maybe push it to the 20. Uh, I'm going to rinse it out and um, see what we're working with. I was going to put this on at this stage, but I think that's just going to be a little bit messy. So I'm going to rinse this out and then I'm going to put this, apply this to the mids and ends. Um, on damp hair okay so i'll wait 15 20 minutes then i'll rinse off and i will report back before we apply this okay we're back i have rinsed off my hair i've um put some of the um lb wonder water on the eight sick second um, miracle water because my hair felt a little bit after bleaching it in part one so Let's turn the towel off and see what we're dealing with. I did notice that the pink from the root was obviously bleeding <laughs> with the water in, like the pink water into my blonde. So I think we might have pink hair. <laughs> Let's take the towel off and see what we're dealing with it. <sighs> let's brush it. Okay, let's brush it before we... Thankfully, we've still got our money piece. We have a bled into them, but I think we might be a little bit baby pink on them ends. <laughs> oh dear. Let's, uh, let's brush it out. We'll give it a go. Brad Mondo, don't come for me brushing my wet bleached hair, okay? Because I've used Miracle Water, it's fine. <laughs> oh dear. Not looking too bad, is it? We are a little bit peachy. 
very pink it has it has obviously bled down a lot more than i initially thought but you know what i don't mind that having a bit more of a transition you know keeping that fluorescent pink through the top and then coming down maybe it's like like pastel -y, and then we're going to go to the whites on the tip i don't think that looks too bad i'd almost say i was happy with that takes a lot for me to say that so yeah so that's where we're working with now we've got them pink roots we've still got the ends to go so what we're going to do next is we're going to mix this up and we're going to apply it to these mids and ends and round the front to make them uh, it's obviously not going to go this but a little bit more cooler than where we are now obviously them roots we need to tone desperately so i think the cool will look better against the pink make it a little bit more vibrant what i'm going to do is though i'm going to do that in part three and i'll see you over there shortly see you soon guys bye